Bank will be launching FedNow and managing practically every transaction made in the United States. Federal Reserve just announced that it is launching FedNow instant payments in July of this year. In the variety of other countries, central bank instant payment options have been subsequently followed by CBDC trial rollouts. This is just several months away and nobody seems to know much about it. FedNow instant digital payments are about to change the banking sector this summer. TD Cohen analyst said, FedNow will represent a material change in how consumers use electronic money. He believes that nearly every bank and credit union will offer the service, with most coming on board over the next year. I just got off the phone with TD Bank and they're telling me that they want to go fully digital. So I asked them, what does that mean? Well, the call agent didn't know. So I escalated it to a supervisor and the supervisor didn't know. So I escalated it to a manager. Guess what? The manager didn't know what that meant. They just know that they're going to go fully digital and they don't know what it entails. But what they could tell me was my non-compliance. I mean, non-consent meant that I would lose my access card, which is my debit card and my ability to do any sort of online banking. TD access agreements um, and digital banking agreements. So they go into effect April 24th. Um, I've printed them off. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's a scam. I've called the bank twice. It's not a scam. This is legit shit. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rekakwadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and double citations to all you Akim out there laboring. The house of David, the elect that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you brothers and shalom to the elect. I'm back at you with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. This is the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. In verse 3 in the NLT. And it reads, it says, The vision, this vision is for a future time. It describes the end, and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. All right, and we told you through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Shai, that the image of the beast, the beast system is, is here, it's speaking. All right, this is the beast system and the oppression of the wicked. All right, this is Esau's enterprise right here in your face once again. All right, prophecy is speaking. All right, and uh, this is the end. As you can see, all the categories listed under this beast system. All right, this is what's being pushed right now. A one world government, one world religion, artificial intelligence, digital currency, Social credit scores, personalized QR codes for identification eventually leads to the MOTB, all right, which we know as brothers have been echoing throughout their lessons over the years now, that eventually uh, the society is going to collapse, the money is going to collapse, and they're going to forward this new form of payment, all right, this new way of buying and selling, which is going to be by the RFID micro CHIP. Okay, the future of payment. 15 minute cities, all right, which we saw uh, uh, news clips on that. Certain states are incorporating these 15 minute cities, all right, to keep people in, in one spot to, to, to lock it down. All right, everything is about what? Full control, all right? Food rationing, right? Here's a quick article. All right, this came out uh, June 22nd, 2023. It says, by 2030, you will not eat meat and will only be allowed to buy three clothing items a year, report says. All right, as the devil, uh, uh, Klaus Schwab said, you know, uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, Yuval Noah Harari. All right, the devil said that you will own nothing and be happy. Okay, matter of fact, let me get that. That's in Psalm. 73 
All right, this is uh, Psalm 73, verse 4 says, For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued as other men. All right, the Edomite. Okay. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. All right, this is the wicked and violent man, as the scriptures tell us. All right, the biblical Edomite. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than a heart could wish. All right. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. All right. He was blessed with the fatness of the earth, the sword. All right. He has full control of the earth and all of his resources and the people. All right. The point. Psalm 73 verse 8. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully, which is proud, all right? So we're coming into that point, man, where everything in society is about to abruptly change, all right? All your comforts and security are going to be removed, okay? We're coming in the time of famine, okay? Uh, 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 power outages, blackouts, you see what I'm saying? All right, a time of trouble, a time like no other, as the scriptures say, all right? Psalm 73, in verse 9, and it reads, it says, They set their mouth against the heavens, right? And their tongue walketh throughout the earth, all right? So we've been seeing these Edomites boasting about how, you know, for example, you know, Yuval, Yuval Noah Harari said they don't care if they make the most high mad. They don't care if they piss them off. You know, if, if he creates a drought, they have the ability to make it rain. All right, they've been saying that they have the technology now to surpass the power of the Most High. All right, science over the Lord now. All right, <clears throat> science over God, if you will. All right, science is, is the way. You know, they set their mouth against the heavens, okay, and their tongue walking throughout the earth. Let's get that in the... Uh, <clears throat> NLT Psalm 73 and verse Verse 9 in the NLT And it reads it says They boast against the very heavens And their words strut throughout the earth Alright and, and his words go back to what His lies And his laws and legislations You know This is how he pushes his words throughout the earth You know his tongue if you will, right? So it says, um, personalized QR codes for ident identification eventually leads to the MOTB, 15 mini cities, food rationing, right? Lab grown, lab grown babies with modified DNA, transhumanism, a system that leads to complete control of the masses. This is what this B system is about, and it's here. Right, let's go uh, to uh, Second Thessalonians real quick. All right. So this is um, this is Second Thessalonians in verse three. Second Second Thessalonians chapter two verse three, and it reads: It says, matter of fact, we'll start up. We'll just start at the top. Second Thessalonians two and one. And it reads, it says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by the letter as from us, as that day of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach is at hand. All right, clearly. Okay, the day of the Lord is at hand. Verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, all right, the Edomite, all right, the point, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High, all right, and how he's doing that now is through this, uh, uh, this beast system. 
All right. And through this very system is how he's going to force the world to bow to him. All right. As it tells you in Revelation 13. All right. He's going to cause uh, um, all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All right. Let's read that in the um, in the NLT as well. All right, it says he will exalt himself and define everything that people call God and every object of worship. All right. He will even sit in the temple of the most high, claiming that he himself is the most high. And Esau's doing that right now, man. All right. He's doing that through him pushing his science and his technology, man. All right. His, his artificial intelligence, all these different means of setting himself up as the most high. Okay, the image of the beast is speaking, man. All right. Psalms 86 and 14, O power, Yahweh Shemel Shai, the proud are risen against me. The assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul. You see that? And we're in the midst of the, of the assemblies of violent men. All right, going back to Esau, the elites. Okay, they're after our souls. They want your soul. And, and, and the means of doing it is through this technology, all right? This uh, uh, this nanotechnology, all right? All this technology that we see today is 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 geared by what? Going inside the body. Okay, he wants your he wants your mind. He wants your soul, man. Okay, he plans to rule over the masses through this very technology that you see. All right, this this beast system. All right, that's before you. All right, a system that leads to complete control of the masses, man. Everything on this list is out there. You can look it up. All right, it's already uh, uh, came to pass. It's here. You see? Psalms 86 and 14, O power, Yahweh, Shem El Shai, the proud are risen against me. And the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul and, and have not set thee before them. All right, so Esau, he's he's ready, you know, to, to fully... You know, push this thing, man. Okay? It's in your face, Jake. Okay? You can't you can't hide, you can't run from it. It's here. Okay? That new way of buying and selling, this beast system. All right? It's right here, man. All right. This is um, let's get this to let's go to Revelation. All right, this is the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 13, and we'll start at verse 14 here, and it reads, And and deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, all right, going into what? His technology, right? By the means of, of those miracles, the, the, the technology, his science, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had which had the wound by a sword and did live, all right? So we're in the revival of the Roman Empire, all right? This is Rome 2.0, okay? Verse 15, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, okay? Which is uh, uh, that, that Roman Empire, man, reincarnated, man, which is being exercised now, all right? This, this beast system, this technocracy that we see right now, all right? Everything that was listed here. All right. You got the Fed now and that's in effect, which started July 1st. We're in the month of July now. All right. We see the, uh, the, the, you know, the marketing of the, uh, uh, the, in the, of the MOTB. All right. And various other means, the 15 minute cities. All right. The climate change, the, the natural disasters, right? The, the AI, artificial intelligence, the CBDCs. All right, the transhumanism, the modified DNA, lab created uh, food, meat, lab created babies, all this. All right, this is the uh, this is the mindset uh, uh, of the wicked. All right, this is the forwarding of his enterprise, man. This is this new world that he desires, which the Lord is going to destroy. All right. Reading this again, Revelation thirteen and fifteen, it says, and he had power to give life. Unto the image of the beast, right? That the image of the beast should both speak 
and caused that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So the image of the beast is speaking, man. This this uh uh this technocracy, man. Okay, Esau is getting ready to force the whole planet to bow down to this system. All right, and if you don't take part of this new system that's coming to pass, you're going to be killed. All right, you're going to be uh, cast out. You're going to be ostracized, man. Okay, this is the time we coming in, man. All right, things are going to train. Things are about to change drastically, man. All right, you have to have a mindset of of being prepared to to lose it all, man. Even possibly your life. Okay. The devil is forwarding his his uh his system, right? It says uh verse 16, Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, right? And that's the karagma. Right? And that no man might buy or sell, okay? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you're not going to buy and sell unless you have the karagma. Okay? It's not, it's not white man Jesus. It's not an embargo. All right? It's not the white woman. Okay? It's not the... Uh, uh, it's not the J-A-B. All right? This is the karagma dealing with what? The incision that goes under the skin. All right? The M-O-T-B. That's how you're going to be able to buy and sell. All right? It says, um, verse 18, here is wisdom. Let, let, him, that have, let him that have understanding <clears throat> and let him have let him that have understanding count the number of the beasts, for it is the number of a man. And which man is that? The son of perdition, the Edomite. For it is, for it is the number of, of a man, and his number is 600, three score and six. All right, 666, which is uh, chai Sai stigma, right? Which essentially is this, um, is this beast system that we see, okay? This is that uh, uh, pretty much Esau would use this, um, his science, in this medical system to bring forth the uh the C hip, all right, which is this true agenda, this uh uh this C B D C B D uh C B D C infrastructure, all right, which is ultimately this this B system, man. Okay, and this is what John the Revelator saw. All right, this is that anti Messiah system that's being put into play. Okay, he basically Esau has X'd out and replaced Yahweh Hashem Shai and his laws and his existence with pseudoscience, man. Sorcery and high-level witchcraft, which is this technology. All right? This medical system, because pretty much all of this is the new idol. All right? That uh, this is that false image. This is that pseudo-kingdom that, that he's, uh, uh, he's bringing to pass. Okay? We're at this point now, man. At the end it shall speak and not at the end it shall speak and not lie. All right, it's here. Let's grab this too. Let's go to um. Psalm. This is the book of Psalms 140. All right, prayer for protection against the wicked. Psalms 140 and one. It says, "Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh Shema was shot from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which is Esau Edom." Which imagine mischiefs in, his, in their heart Continually are they gathered together for war Alright They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent At his poison is under their lips Salah Alright his poison Going back to his words His lies His laws Legislations Right You know Ultimately his vision man Which is all Death Alright This is where we at man uh, uh, Full oppression Okay, by the wicked. Psalms 140 and verse 3, it says, They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent, at his poison is under their lips. Salah. Keep me, O Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, from the hands of the wicked. All right, the left hand. Preserve me from the violent man who have proposed to overthrow my goings. All right, because his goal is to, is to destroy you. 
all right, to slave you, to enslave you in the name of technology. It says the proud have hit a snare for me, and cores they have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Salah, yeah, this is all a trap. Okay, that many are gonna fall victim to. All right. It says. <clears throat> Verse 6, it says, I have said unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, thou art my power. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai. O power, Yahweh Shemel Shai, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle, all right? This is the day of battle. And the Lord is going to cover the elect, He's going to protect them. Okay? He's going to provide food, shelter, water. He's going to take care of His elect. The Lord said that his servants shall eat and have drink and have drink, you know, in the time of this uh, 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 tribulation, you know, the hour of temptation that's coming to try the world, you know. Verse eight, Psalms 140 and eight, grant not, O Lord, Yahweh Shemel the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Salah, yeah, further not his wicked device. This this beast system, his mindset. All right, lest they exalt themselves. He, he's already put himself in the position of the most high. He thinks he's God. All right, he thinks he's about to win. You know? As for the head of those that can pass me about, let their mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them, which is that nuclear destruction, the missiles. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him, right? So we're at that point, as I always talk about, we're at the climax, man. We're at the, the, the peak of his rulership, man. The beast system is here, is speaking through America, all right? Things are about to happen. But Yahweh Shema was shy, just right, just as he's about to fill his belly, the Lord is going to destroy him. As it tells you that in the book of Job, at the height of his... uh. At the height of his sufficiency, he's going to be in straits. Okay? So so that destruction of salvation is nearer than we believe, man. All right? We're literally at the door of this thing, as Yahweh Shai told us. Obadiah 1 and 3, and it reads, it says, The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? You see? And that's the mindset of Esau. All right, he think he got it. He think he's he's not going to be stopped. But the Lord said this, verse 4, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, right? And what, what is the representation of Esau, America? All right, the eagle. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. So Yahweh Shem Shai is going to destroy this damn devil, man. Okay? But the point of this lesson is that, hey, we are here. All right, this thing, the image of the beast is speaking. All right, and it, it, like the scriptures say, in the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, it will surely come and will not tarry, man. So, you know, I pray that this quick lesson was edifying. You know, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth, and double salutation to all you Akim out there laboring. A hey, Shalom.